The horrendous and heartbreaking events in Iraq and Syria have brought the subject of religious freedom and persecution to the forefront of the world's news. We have learnt with mounting despair of the expulsion of Christians, Muslims and Yazidis from towns and cities that their ancestors have occupied for centuries. Sadly, incidents of violence in Iraq and Syria are not isolated. They are found throughout some, though not all, of the Middle East, uh, in some African nations and in many countries across Asia. Thankfully, despite this bleak picture, there are inspirational people of different faiths joining together to overcome division and hatred. And if I might say so, it is a well-established principle of interfaith dialogue that we judge each other by the best expression of our faith rather than the worst. It is a, an indescribable tragedy that Christianity is now under such threat in the Middle East, an area where Christians have lived for 2,000 years and across which Islam spread in 700 AD with people of different faiths living together peaceably for centuries. It seems to me that our future as a free society, both here in Britain and throughout the world, depends on recognizing the crucial role played by people of faith. And of course, religious faith is all the more convincing to those outside the faith when it is expressed with humility and compassion giving space to others, whatever their beliefs. Faith leaders have, it seems to me, a responsibility to ensure that people within their own tradition respect people from other faith traditions. We have yet to see the full potential of faith communities working together. However, uh, to do this effectively with a truly fraternal approach requires not only maturity in one's own faith, but also an essential humility. I believe that to speak to another faith tradition and to defend those who follow it, it is profoundly helpful to speak from the core of one's own spiritual experience. 